Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo, and today we're going to take a look at a brand new update to Goodlock itself, and I believe a few modules also got updated. So this is the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, so it is being pushed to the Galaxy Note 10s, and as well as the Galaxy S20s, but write a comment below the video if your phone got it and you have something different than the Note 10 and the S20 Ultra. So let's get out of Goodlock over here. I did not see any pop-ups come in when I opened up Goodlock, so I'm going to go inside my Samsung folder. This is where the Galaxy store application is and then all you'd have to do is just search for good lock now once you search for good lock on the very top you can see this little kind of refresh button it's just letting you know that there is an update now this update was pushed out today which was May 11th and before we dive deep in every single module to see exactly what is brand new with all of them make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button more than likely about 83 percent of you that's watching this video are not subscribed so it is free to join this party and get the latest updates on all of your Samsung Galaxy devices and don't forget about that bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos about 16 percent of you is hitting the option for all i want to make sure that you guys don't miss any up-to-date updates and awesome tips and tricks so these are updated let's go through open them up and it looks like there's quite a few so first off looking at the galaxy note 10 plus you can see a little one icon there a little notification letting you know that there is one there so it's for lock star quick star task changer you also have it from for multi-star and let's move down let's move over here uh, and again also with theme park one hand operation plus and sound assistant so looking at the galaxy s20 series over here lock star quick star task changer uh you got your nav star over there and then on this one over here you have your one hand operation plus so all in all it kind of looks like that the galaxy note 10 plus might have a few additional updates but it could also be because there is some of these modules that i don't have downloaded on the galaxy s20 yet so you can see this little icon there letting us know that it is installed but then there's no notification letting us know that there's an update and so if you have not updated or downloaded a lot of these you might just see the option of install but there actually is an update for the majority of all these modules so let's go through these modules that have little notification icons so first up with lockstar once you go inside of here if you do want to read you know when it was updated just tap right there for all ages uh, you can also see it you know posted right there so for lockstar anything that's new or fixed is the fix to the support a flashlight on shortcut default and fixed notification icon alignment issue, which this was one of the things I did personally notice is that if you had Lockstar uh, turned on, some of the notifications would actually realign or misalign. So it's pretty nice that that one was, you know, there and, and updated. So just hit on that update button on the very bottom. Now let's move over into Quickstar. Everything that's new here, uh, looks like there's a down arrow, so quite a bit. So new function, new features added to Android 10 Plus devices. Android 10 users are recommended to reinstall the existing Quickstar. So you might have noticed if your Quickstar was not working properly this morning, it's just because with this update kind of sitting here, it might have stopped or it just might not be working at the moment. Just go through, hit on update, it'll come right back. Yeah, One UI 2.0 support, dark mode support, improved color coordination between quick panel and notification when specifying transparency, and update uh, to the default theme list. So let's move right on over to the very next one. Looks like we have task changer, which this one is a big one for me. I do need to hit the update here. We you know when all of this, when this video is done, uh, task changer is a big one that I actually use. Wow, there is a lot that is going on with this update here. So let's just read the very top, which is gonna be this version here. Stabilization code was added, fixed an issue where the same word was entered twice when entering the keyboard after setting the gesture. So let's move back over here head right back over into good lock. This next one right here was actually not a brand new recent update. This one's updated last on uh, April 14th. I just took a look at that one. So we won't look at that one inside of this video today, but let's take a look at theme park. So theme park was one of those that was updated today. Uh, looks like they, they fixed the broken title animation on Dex mode. So if you were using this inside of Dex mode, using a theme park, it looks like, um, uh, the broken title animation was now fixed. It fixed the issue that a theme is not applied on some screens. So when you did use theme park, I, I used it for a while, took it right back off. I just love the regular dark mode. That's how mine is set up. Sometimes when I go from screen to screen, I did notice uh, some discrepancies with how I set up my theme. So that was one of the main reasons why I didn't use it. So maybe it is a little bit better at this moment. 
So let's move right back over. One hand plus operation or one hand operation plus uh, right over here. Let's see, let's hit this down arrow. Uh, it looks like add color setting for handle. Uh, and you can also move it higher as well. Uh, fix not working problem just after home return. Don't know what that one means. And then fix late restart problem. Uh, in case dex mode change so it looks like there's a few fixes for all of those who do who does use the dex mode when you plug it into a monitor so it looks like a few of these has been improved and fixed for you and then on the bottom with sound assistant let's just take a look right over here everything that's brand new uh, fix the mono audio feature error fixed the eq save error and supporting z flip external display Hey, hey, that means I can update <laughs> one of these for my Galaxy Z Flip, which I did actually move over to the Galaxy Z Flip for the last few days, because I am gonna do a review talking about three months later on it. Uh, so pretty you know, excited that it works with the Galaxy Z Flip on the external display. So make sure you guys go through head right over into your Galaxy Store. And once you go inside your Galaxy Store, make sure you go inside of Good Lock and then hit on all of these updates here. Uh, all you have to do is just tap on that little icon, hit on update, and you have to go back a couple times, go right back inside of Good Lock and then get each of these modules updated. But I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.